In neighboring Karnataka, the problems of the mentally ill are much the same. Here, the Karuna Trust has taken up the management of 25 government-run primary health centers, or PHCs, like this one, at the beggar's home in Bangalore. It trains the PHC staff to diagnose and deal with mental illness and helps upgrade the in-house facilities at the centers. This kind of training session of ASHAs or government health workers builds their capacity to deal with mental health issues. It enables them to identify and report mental illness among the patients they visit across three districts of Karnataka. Many of the districts do not have a psychiatrist at all. Any vertical program for mental health interventions will not be cost effective. So the existing primary health care setup, uh, we started working with that train the existing medical officers and the health workers in the management of the primary health care. This is the type of model which is replicable and sustainable. This mental health clinic at Gumbali, 70 kilometers south of Mysore, functions five times a month and gets an average of 100 to 150 patients. It offers psychiatric help and medicines free of charge. The transit care facility at Chikali is a shining example of residents being helped to do productive work and rejoin the larger community. ಒಬ್ಬೊಬ್ಬರು ಅಗ್ರೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಗ್ರೆಸಿವ್ ಆಗಿರಬಹುದು ನಾನ್ ಕೋಆಪರೇಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿರಬಹುದು ಅವರಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಒಬ್ಬರಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಒಬ್ಬರು ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಅವರು ಹೇಗೆ ಕೆಲಸದಲ್ಲಿ ತೊಡಗಿಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಗಬಹುದು ಆದ್ರೆ ಡೇ ಬೈ ಡೇ ಅವರು ನಮ್ಮ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನಮ್ಮದು ಮಾತಿ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಅವರು ಕೆಲಸದಲ್ಲಿ ತೊಡಗುತ್ತಾರೆ Here we come across all kinds of people from different parts of the country. We have got patients from uh, North India, we have got patients from Eastern parts of India, as far as even patients from Nepal and Bangladesh also. So there will be a lot of uh, transcultural variations, and language barriers are uh, quite many. And second thing is since we don't have any of the caregivers or attenders with the patient, it becomes uh, quite challenging uh, to take a uh, brief history sometimes. Similar efforts have been recognized in the Northeast, where the only mental health institute in the entire region is a 318-bed facility in Tezpur, Assam, catering to a population of 25 million people. There are only 57 qualified psychiatrists in 27 districts of Assam. Asha Deep in Guwahati was registered in 1996 to cater to the various needs of mentally challenged persons. Its founder, Mr. Mukul Goswami, observes that even though family bonds are strong in the region, the real problem in the context of mental health is access to health care. At Asha Deep's transit care and rehab facilities, a concerted effort is made to provide a homely environment. There is a healthy mix of recreational, therapeutic, and vocational activities. Out of the 210 women rescued so far, Asha Deep has reintegrated 160 with their families. Hello, 
Normada was rescued from the streets and treated at Nav Chetna Transit Care and Rehab Facilities, but could not be reintegrated with her family without some livelihood interventions. After training her to weave, Asha Deep now provides for the raw material to weave cloth at her village home. It buys back the finished material from her, giving her an income. Now fully recovered, Normada has in fact become the breadwinner for her family. Through its rural outreach program, Asha Deep facilitates monthly mental health camps in remote and usually militant infested areas of the Northeast. Subsequently, it identifies and empowers local NGOs to deal with mental health cases. Ashroy, a mental health daycare center in Sipajar district, was set up with guidance from Ashadi, literally the light of hope. A hope that has been successfully kept alight under the specialized health care of the Sir Ratan Tata Trust Health Portfolio. This is what we want to replicate in other places. This is the same thing is happening in Chirang, where our partner organization, the Ant, is today empowered to tomorrow when we withdraw, they will continue with what we are doing. And we could be the facilitator at the central point, at the state level. Capacity building of organizations such as Asha Deep, the Banyan and Karuna Trust enable them to successfully combat an illness that is estimated to afflict 5% of the country's population. With about 25% of the mentally ill being rendered homeless and the lack of any comprehensive facilities in the formal sector, these are merely the first concrete steps that need to be followed. Steps that reinforce that at the end of a long, bleak tunnel, there is a light.